All right, Synergic Fit back with Torian with Wellman Wellness, our DJ for the day, or desk jockey. Um, so we are working on a little bit of upper mobility today in order to create a little bit more space for that forward shoulder roll and that excessive head tilt forward. So what we are doing with this mobility is trying to create space to posture back up. So we will naturally have a little bit more of that straighter line happening. Anything to add, Torian? The biggest thing that we're hoping to get from this particular sequence is our timing is super important. We're gonna use this prior to engaging with resistance training. Uh, an exercise that she's going to um, use as an example here is great for pulling back that posterior chain and getting it more relative or active to avoid injuries when you are creating overhead pressing or even pushing for that matter. Mm -hmm. This will help you design a better, healthier moving body in a variety of shapes and postures and positions relative to resistance is a fancy way of me saying not only when you're lifting weights but in real life situations if I am in a very expanded position or I'm in a very I guess forward flex position the more I keep pushing into that posture and the more I'm presenting that said position the more likeliness or the bigger the risk that I may eventually um, rip these muscles, tear these muscles, strain these particular segments mm. of our body. So yeah, if any of these, you have gotten a shoulder injury right. or torn a bicep, it's not fun. Right, and it's directly related to the accumulation of what Carrie is talking about. So these exercises are imperative to reversing those ill effects or preventing them altogether and help you stay healthy. So then you are introducing the forms of resistance training or whether that resistance training is bodybuilding or if it's used for sports performance or even just everyday life of being more fit and feeling like you have more energy exercises like this are imperative to reverse or prevent those problems from arising all right so we're going to start with under arrest or a swimmer's hover whichever you would like to call it i find it more fun playing under arrest but you know <laughs> it is what it is so we're going to start laying face down on the ground we're going to make sure that our forehead is on the ground so we are not creating an excessive amount of pressure on our neck as we do this so we're going to start with our hands behind our head as if we're under arrest and what's going to happen as we keep our forehead on the ground we are going to pinch our shoulder blades back in together which will naturally create a lift in the elbows from there you are going to come out into a Y position so think capital Y and then you are slowly going to start by bringing the palms back and as you're rotating the palms are eventually going to flip up towards the sky so we're creating some rotation in the shoulder and as you're coming back nice and slow and controlled you are eventually going to have the back of that hand placed on the low back or as high up as you can go so some of us are going to have a little bit more mobility here than others. So if you get to the back of your butt and that's as far up as it goes, that is also okay. From here, you are going to essentially try and press those elbows into the ground. So we're creating a little bit more space and rounding through the shoulders. So essentially what we did here, we're going to reverse. So bringing the elbows back up, then you're going to bring them out slowly to the side as we rotate the palms back going into that Y position and we are eventually going to end with our hands behind our head again that is one repetition so with this as you can see Torian's going through this you can see a little bit of shudders and shakes. How are you feeling? You feeling tension there? Very much so. This is a great exercise for someone like myself who's had countless shoulder injuries, shoulder problems directly related to what we were discussing. Mine is more from sports performance, not being well-trained or well-experienced or well-versed with the variety of movements that I should have been using prior. So this is a real-life experience or a real-life situation where an exercise like this is very useful I use these as well so again if you don't want to end up like us okay you want to end up with some injuries where you have to battle back we share these videos in hopes that you'll understand the importance of when to use these if you don't want to wait until it's too late you have problems you're using these videos or using these exercises accordingly now you can prevent some pretty substantial stuff I've separated both shoulders 
I've had a lot of issues uh, directly related to the shoulder girdle or the back of my shoulders, my neck, the front of my shoulders, and even my chest, as I've been through those positions before, and it's directly related to these particular, I guess, limitations. So imperative we're using these. Hopefully you can tune into some of these exercises today. Uh, we're gonna keep sharing more for these particular problems and a variety of uh, other issues that can arise from the body typically related to or happening because of our lifestyles. So stay tuned for those. Hope you enjoyed the video today.